so I don't know if you guys remember, I just got the Insta360 X3, and I said that I probably got it because a new one is coming out to replace it. And here you go. Uh, so a few things just to realize. Um, I wanted to get this video out today. I know that's a kind of a second video, but Insta360 tomorrow, I think it's tomorrow, the 16th. I think today's the 15th. Um, they have a uh, release, an announcement coming out tomorrow. I think it's like 9, 9 a.m. Eastern time. So it's 10 a.m. for me here where I live. Um, but I think it's a X4 or a x3s or something but 8k we saw the ace pro be able to shoot in 8k and uh not that i have done it but i have played around with the 8k for sure um but a big thing on the 360 forums and th probably the biggest request that we've seen for 360 cameras is the jump to 8k now it's not going to be necessarily my belief is 8K like single lens, but 8K with both lenses, just like they talk about 5.7K on the X3 and the X2. Uh, this will be 8K, my belief, completely around, which means, though, that in 360, my hope is that we'll actually be able to export uh, 4k video now I know technically this is probably a lot of jargon for some of you but um, this could be really cool this could be one of the probably the biggest upgrades for the 360 cameras that we've seen really since the 360 cameras have come out so if this thing can produce a full spherical 8k and then be able to export a single 4k image you know wherever you decide to crop it inside the sphere for getting that you know 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 view fantastic super awesome now the other thing is a lot of us may not even care you may like i that's cool i don't for one maybe have a computer that can even handle 8k uh 4k and that and 5k whatever that's that's plenty um i only produce videos in hd anyway so that seems like a whole bunch of overkill and i completely understand that as well so the bonus of Insta360, I think, releasing a new camera is that the X3, uh, the X2 even, but the X3, fantastic camera. I've been using it a lot over the last uh, two months, and uh, it is surprisingly a much better and bigger update even to the X2 than I kind of expected, even with things like the single lens mode for 4K so that you can use it almost like a traditional action camera. Uh, it's it's a very, very versatile camera. And the bonus now, again, uh, with them releasing a new one, is that, as you see here, all their, outside of the Ace Pro, pretty much all of their Insta360 360 cameras on sale, on sale right now. Look at that, $600 Canadian on for 533. Hey. That's almost 70 bucks. 70 bucks in your pocket could give you uh, some some extra accessories, you know, things like that. The Go, is it on sale? It is on sale, look at that, right? $50 off, so that's, that's okay, $50 off. The RS, which for the longest time was my, uh, totally the recommended camera that I thought everybody should get. 539 down from 719 that's that's awesome that's super good deal the x2 which is still if you're shooting just 360 stuff fantastic um uh out of stock oh i'm wondering if this is going to be discontinued or if it's just out of stock because they have a 30 percent off which is a pretty big discount as well so right now though rs Super good camera because you get the 4K and the 360. The Go 3, if you want something small, super portable, use it kind of for vloggy or put it just about anywhere. Or uh, the X3, which is a fantastic camera right here, X3. Um, big screen, has the 4K single lens mode, which I think is a huge advance from the X2. Um, 
they're on sale probably some of the biggest specials we've seen i'll put links down below if you guys are at all interested in that and make sure tomorrow morning when you are uh up bright and early i guess then uh you may not be that early depending on where you live um check out check out the announcement because i think it's going to be cool anyways here's their here's their promo video and we will see you guys tomorrow morning later